Hello, uh, tonight I'm going to talk about the lunatic Sabbath. And I call it lunatic because it just amazes me <clears throat> what people believe. It really is so amazing. <laughs> Truly, Yahweh was right that so many people get caught up in deception, confusion. But the Creator is clear. That's what I want to talk about tonight. First, let's look at the Creator's calendar. And this is the deception the enemy uses. Well, it, because if you don't research this yourself, if you don't pray about it, if you don't fast about it, you'll, you'll believe the lie. And I've seen so many people coming out of Christianity, coming out of Paul, they fall into this lie. That the seventh day wasn't preserved. It's a lie from the enemy. Do not believe it. Test it. Test my words. Let's look at their chart here. The Creator's Calendar. <clears throat> this is the Creator's Calendar.com. But remember what Deuteronomy 18 20 to 22 warns. If a prophet comes to you speaking in my name, something I did not tell them, that prophet should be put to death. It's not my job, it's my warning. So let's go to this calendar. Start in January. I guess this is February. So February 27th, they have us the new moon, which was Saturday. So on the 2nd month of our year and I say that for reference not that it, we should be following the Gregorian calendar just we need a point of reference they proclaim the Sabbath was on the traditional seventh day now here's the problem you see the full moon here was a Shabbat the 29th what happens if we go forward a month the first is Sunday Remember, this was a Sabbath, and this is a Sabbath. So we now have a double Sabbath. Where in, where in Torah does it say, you know, every month when we switch uh, Sabbaths, make sure you gather twice as much manna? It's so ludicrous, guys. But here's the other option. Let's say that whoever's following this calendar says, you know what, the first isn't the Sabbath. So now you work seven days and rest one? Uh, guys and gals, this is off. This is so off. And I think that's the way this creator of this calendar is viewing this, is that the first is a day of work. Because every other Sabbath day of that month, you notice they say Sabbath. Then we get to the full moon on the 30th. Now, what do we see? We go to the first and we have a choice. Is this a Sabbath? Well, because they say it's Rosh Hashanah, it technically is. And why they have Rosh Hashanah in the first month, I have no idea. That's not biblical. That's not biblical at all. But let's go back here. So the last Sabbath was on the first day, Sunday. Then we have a day of work. Then we have a, then we have a holiday. They move to the first month. And then we go back to their six-day cycle with the Sabbath on Tuesday. How would somebody even keep this? It's so impractical. And there are not many things that get me angry anymore. But this lie absolutely gets me angry god is not going to make something that complicated to follow when he says remember the sabbath work six days and rest one and we're going to go over the scriptures because this is such an easy lie to defeat if you go to torah now let's go to the next month so this month only has 29 days and the last day is a sabbath so we go to the new moon and again we have a choice is this a Sabbath or is this a work day? If it's a work day, then again, we're working seven days and resting one. Where is that in the Bible? Where is a double Sabbath in the Bible? Okay, so we go to the next month. 
so remember in this last month here the sabbath was on wednesday so we go to the next month and what do we got this was a sabbath this is the new the full moon and what do we see here sorry the yeah is that right the new moon yeah so the new moon day is a day after the sabbath so we work one and rest one or we work eight days now and rest one this is getting really bad either way it doesn't say work one day rest one day or work eight days and rest one day it just doesn't make sense why people fall into this so now we've shifted sabbath back to the sixth day back to friday and you see this go on and on through their their calendar all right so now we're in uh, July here. So July 24th of this year is a new moon on Saturday. And again, the Sabbath is aligned with the seventh day. And you do the math here, and it just does not make sense what they're trying to do. They're trying to say that a biblical year has 360 days. But if you connect even that to the Sabbath, it doesn't come out to an even number. The Sabbath is not connected to months and years. There's no passage in the Torah, in the Prophets, or even in the Apocrypha that connects the weekly Sabbath to the moon, to the stars, or anything else. It's just a day count. Work six days and rest one. And there's no evidence historically, none in Scripture, that shows that the Jews ever kept this lunar Sabbath nonsense. Now let's look at the next month. One more, then we're going to go to Scripture. All right, now we're in August. And now the Sabbath has jumped a day again. So again, we have a choice. Are we working eight days to a Sabbath? Or are we resting on the new moon day on a Monday? How would you guys even do this? Do you guys that come up with this bull crap even work and i say that because it is a total pile of feces this is the worst thing you could foist on someone this is not fulfilling deuteronomy 30 11 that it is not too hard for you nor is it too far off or deuteronomy 4 2 do not add to do not re remove from the words that i command you what do they do where is this eight days to rest in torah and the prophets you guys are just making stuff up and you call it holy and you're going to face the wrath of God. This is my warning to you, those of you following it and those of you teaching it. It's a giant pile of garbage. Now let's go to the scripture, the Ten Commandments first. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. You are to labor six days and do all your work. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to Jehovah, your Elohim. You must not work, you, your son or daughter, your female servant, your livestock, or the resident alien who's within your city gates. For Jehovah made the heavens and the earth, the sea, and everything he made them in six days. And then he rested on the seventh. One of the lies that the people who teach this nonsense will tell you is that there was a week between the creation week and the week of rest. Because they have to have their month start on the new moon, the fourth day. It's total nonsense. The nowhere in Genesis 1, and we'll go there because Exodus 20.11 points us back to creation. And it says clearly the same thing we see in Genesis 1 and 2. There is no gap week there. None. For Jehovah made the heavens and the earth, the sea and everything in them, in six days. And then he rested on the seventh day. Not eight, not eight days, not seven days, six days and seven was the rest. Therefore, Jehovah blessed the Sabbath and declared it holy. So let's go to Genesis and we'll skim over it. In the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness covered the surface of the watery depths. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters. 
Then Elohim said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. There was evening and there was morning, one day. So we see this is the end of the first day. So he goes through all six days, and hopefully all of you know this. You've all read it about 4,000 times. Then we go to the end of Genesis 1. This is where they put their gap week between the chapters that don't exist in the original manuscript. Elohim saw all that he had made, and it was very good indeed. Evening came and morning, the sixth day. Then we go to the next verse, and this is not a different chapter in the original manuscript. So the heavens and the earth and everything in them were completed on six days. And then what do we see? On the seventh day. On the seventh day. Not on the eighth day. Not on the seventh day from the creation of the moon, which would be day 11. God had completed his work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work he had done. God blessed the seventh day. And he declared it holy, for on it he rested from all his work of creation. I really think this is a strong delusion, just like Paul. There's no other explaining how someone can take clear scripture and come away believing in this nonsense. And for those of you who believe it, please, God, wake up their eyes. 